Hey, I want to show you something. It's only 10 bucks and it's really cool. I like it. Okay, here is my setup. This is what I was talking about. You got your original rod holder here. And then I actually took this off, took the unscrewed this, placed this, the shaft of it within the rings right here. That way, this one rod holder really turns into two rod holders. So I can have, I can be fishing off of this one and I can have just one on standby, just like sitting here hanging out. I think for this setup, I'm going to get rid of this um, wing nut and put two nuts here with a big washer. That way the washer will, will fit flat against this ring, this ring right here. I think it's going to work out pretty well. So replace that wing nut, put a regular nut in there, put a, place a big washer and then a nut on top and that will hold it in place. So right now it's like this. You need something here to really lock it in. And it's probably, I think it'll be kind of noisy and rattle around a lot all the time. And the rattling will probably eventually wear out this rubber here. So anyway, if you got these Driftmaster um, rod holders, Driftmaster sells this accessory. Let me see. Part number is actually, well, here's the part description, 600 rod rester. So the part number 600 looks like. Anyway, pretty neat. So that is pretty neat. I am not sure if they're actually gonna work on monster rod holders. Um, I have a pontoon boat that has monster rod holders on it, but it's not here. It's getting repowered at the time, so got to check that out. Anyway, thanks for watching. Today we're going to be installing more rod holders because they are awesome. Um, only installing the base, and now all you have to do is screw this on the actual rod holder itself to the base. This one happens to have, um, originally it's a 3 8 right here, threaded. They put this adapter on here, so you can go to the half inch. So you can use, this way you can use half inch mounts, half inch threaded mounts, like the uh, Monster Rod Holders and other companies. So, it's a cool little adapter. Anyway. Let's go ahead and install this. First, I'm just going to un undo this. This is the rail mount. You can get all types of mounts. Square mount for like pontoon rails. Um, this one's a little too small, but it will still, still should work. As you notice, see the little bit of a tiny little gap in there because this, this is like one and a quarter inch it's really this this rail is one and a quarter inch and this is really meant for a one inch that's why there's a little extra gap in there but it should sandwich up just fine the problem is the threads aren't long enough okay I'm back I'm back folks. As you can tell this is too short. So luckily I have a lot I keep a lot of hardware in the garage for um, doing all the boat upgrades and stuff like that. So got some longer stainless steel um, pan pan head um, machine screws right here. All right. These are quarter 20s, um, quarter 20, two and a half inch. Let's see, you'll see the difference in the length now. Let's see, with these, they don't work. They're just not gonna work. Pop those out. 
I can reuse reuse those later. Now that is going to work. And then once we do this, we're gonna check to see what the angle of the rod's gonna be. Cause you know, you can buy a zero degrees, 33 degrees, 45, 90s, whatever. Um, just keep that hand tight right there for now. So this is gonna be in this. In like this, so. That's pretty good. Nice angle to it. Nice angle to the dangle. Don't tighten this baby up. Looks like it takes a 7 16 so uh, close wrench on this end here. And now I'm just gonna set my drill. I'm gonna make this go fast. There we go. Sucker's on. Get this rod shaft threaded. And this extends it also. Makes it so it's a little higher. This actually is gonna go down and actually work as a grub screw and put pressure on the rail also so and then for this one I already got that one I kind of angle this way this one I want to angle it more this way more to the front this one's meant to fish more of the front of the boat so I got my position and then we lock that down and there we go Beautiful. Off to starboard side. So the rod holders that I'm using here are from uh, the base. The rod holder base is from Driftmaster. But this is actually a uh, Hills wire form. It's a company online. You can find them on eBay also. I believe it's Hills Wire Form or Wire Forming. But anyway, this is the base I use. It's a 205B, is in Bravo, it's a one inch diameter. So I'm gonna install it here on this side like I just showed you on the other side. So, so let's go ahead and get into this and install it. This, this is so easy, a baby can do it. Well, not a baby, a toddler can do it. If I had a toddler, are you a toddler? No, I'm I haven't... a baby. <laughs> She's a baby. So easy, a baby can do it. Okay, come on. You want to help? Okay. Here we go. I found one. I found. You can stand right there. There you go. I found a toddler or baby. Here we go. See? All right. I want you. Hold this for now, okay? Actually, can you take those off? Take those off? Good job. Doing good. All right. Cool. Uh-oh. 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 Problems. We're having problems here. Okay, here we go. That's done. Like I said, we're gonna just drop those out. We're not gonna need those. Um. It's gonna go right here. Okay. 
Um, can I get those two long ones over there? Do this. Boom. I'm gonna... Ooh. What am I gonna do about that? Uh -oh. I'm gonna drop them in. I'm gonna take this. Things are lining up. There we go. There we go. Yep, I need that. Let me get this one on. Okay, next one. Dad. Now let's put the other one on. Yes, Dad. There we go. All right. Now if I can get you. Here. here, put that on there. Okay. All right, let me get you to put this on there, right here. Whoops. And you hold it. Okay, you ready? Let's go. All right, now over here. You hold it. You got it? Oopsie. <laughs> Put that tool under there. Put that tool under there. I'm ready. Let's go. Yeah. There you go. Oh, you're good. She's good. Oh, you had it. You had it. Now you hold it right there. Ready? ready? All right. Let's do the other side. Ready? Are you ready? All right, that's on. Cool, hold that. Very good. Now let's screw this back on. These are right hand threads. You can buy left hand threaded also. So that's a big thing. Make sure you buy the correct base. Make sure you buy the correct base. You have to double check. If it's RH or LH, yes. right hand thread or right or left hand thread, right yes. hand thread or left hand thread, you yes. check for that. All right, so this one needs to go forward like this, forward out to there. All right. Oh yeah, oh yeah, that's nice. Oh yeah. It's gonna be good right there. Lock it down. Mm. Oh, it's solid. You should set your drag anyway. Yes, there should be no reason to bend this. If, if someone's saying they're bending these, yes. they're not fishing correctly. You need to set your drag. Big fish or baby fish? Baby fish. Baby fish. Dad. Baby fish. You heard it from here. Baby fish. Baby fish. That's what we're going after. Baby fish. Yes. We have baby to. Fish. That's the best. It's the right thing to do. A baby fish. Just that. A baby fish. Luckily, it's the only thing I do catch is baby fish. So I'm good. I'm gold. I'm good as gold now. Consider it done. Does that make you happy? And no response, as usual. GoPro. Dad, a fecal key. Look, a fecal key. Okay, let me wrap this up. Give me one second, all right? Okay. As always, thanks for watching. Um, I'm gonna have some more upgrade videos and stuff Dad. like that. I'll be, I'm, a, I'm gonna be getting the pontoon boat back, so I'll be doing some more upgrades on that too. And most importantly, we're gonna do some more fishing. A lot more fishing coming up. Try to do this with one hand. Oh, it's nearly impossible. Okay, that's not working. I need a cameraman. GoPro stopped recording.
right, so I guess a couple takeaways from this video. Um, there's a lot of good manufacturers out there that make rod holders, and such as Driftmaster, Hills Wire Form, who else? Monster Rod Holders. There's a bunch of companies that make rod holders. The biggest thing is um, you can like you can interchange the bases and, and the rod holders as long as you get the correct diameter um, threaded stem that's on it let me show you just to make sure let me make sure you're picking up while i'm throwing down here make sure you got the correct stem size that's a half inch the smaller ones are three eighths there's basically only two sizes out there half inch and three eighths and then this one is a right handed thread make sure the base says rh for right-handed lh for left-handed so i hope you enjoy the video thanks for watching all right see you guys hey let me help you install some rod holders, okay? I'm gonna install some Driftmaster rod bases. Driftmaster rod bases. Yeah! It's gonna be awesome! It's gonna be awesome, I'm telling you! And then, and then, get it? And then we can install some heels form rod holders. They're almost like monster rod holders, but they're cheaper. <laughs> GoPro stop recording.